Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. You guys know what's going on, manga shopping at Kinokuniya, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so we just arrived at Kinokuniya and we are in the merchandise section. They have a whole bunch of Sasaki and Miyano and Given merchandise. These keychains look absolutely amazing. They just have so much merchandise here. This is kind of their kind of more underrated and BL side if that makes sense. Here we have some more kind of uh, a less popular series. Um, and then we have the Spy Family section, which I absolutely love looking at. They always have such amazing uh, products, and I really love this little Lloyd plush. Here is their Haikyuu section, which has a whole, like, kiosk of its own. It is literally packed full of various Haikyuu merchandise. If you love Haikyuu, like, this would be a dream come true. It is just, like, crazy. Um, yeah, they literally just have- it's just blind bags after blind bags after blind bags. Then here is their Demon Slayer, the same thing, they have so much Demon Slayer merchandise in these giant can badge blind boxes, which are always so interesting to see. I would like to get one at some point, but I, like, I don't know where I'd put it. <laughs> Moving on here to the manga section, uh, they have, this is the Japanese section, so they have March Comes In Like a Lion and Seki K. When are we going to be getting an English release of that? Like, please. Let me know. I will gladly buy all of the Psyche K manga in English, and I'm sure a plethora of other people would. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Here is their Nana section or Ayazawa section. Um, they have a like Nana fan book I saw earlier, and yeah, I don't know what that's about, but here is some of their Nana manga. Uh, this is the Japanese section, like I said earlier. They just have so much. Every single time I come here, like, it's just always increasing. Fun fact, apparently there's Mario manga. Like, what? Who would have guessed? Not me. Moving on to their English manga, starting off with, like, the numbered section. Um, I saw the Apothecary Diaries. They did not have volume 6, which is what I was looking for. They have the 20th Century Boys. And then I was looking at the Banana Fish section excuse me, in the banana fish section, and I saw volume 18, which instantly caught my eye as I was just in shock, because, like, this is a volume that has been out of stock for quite a while, and I only need, like, five more volumes to complete my set, and this was one of them, and so when I saw that, you better believe I snagged that, like, so fast. Here is one of their end caps full of some bleach, fruits basket, and banana fish merchandise. Recently they have been restocking bleach, which is always great to see. They had some of the butler collab and just really wonderful. Moving on here to kind of their like fairy tale, and here's some more fruits basket merchandise. Always loved fruits basket, especially more merchandise. Glad that they are making more and that is becoming more available. Here we have Kaguya Sama Love is War and all of the merchandise that goes along with it. The artwork is so gorgeous. I really, really need to start this series. Here we have, um, I believe it's called Mobile Suit Gundam. I have seen this in a lot of other people's collections. I have no idea what it's about though. Here we have Fire Force and Food Wars. Sadly, they did not have Volume 2, which was the volume that I was looking for. Um, I don't know why, but it's hard to find the earlier volumes, and so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, here they had Mao. They did not have the new release, Volume 7, but I will find it. Um, here is their Chainsaw Man section. And moving over here, they have some really adorable series like My Love Mix-Up and My Love Story. Is my love story worth picking up? Like, let me know. The art style looks so cute and I really like the premise, but I don't know how well it is written. Over here, we have Witch Hat Atelier and these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous clamp can badges. I have like three or four of them and I literally love them to death. 10 out of 10 recommend, like, go buy them. What are you doing if you do not have them? So yeah. Moving on here, as you guys can see, here we have the, sp the Spy Family manga. They did not have volume 8, but I will get that one. Uh, here we have a silent voice, the complete or like the collector's edition. That thing is massive. It is huge. Oh my goodness, I was shocked when I saw that. But then they have a whole bunch of the quintessential quintuplets. Uh, that is a tongue twister merchandise. Uh, here is their kind of BL section. We have Dekoboku. Um, 
Given, I mean, like, you name it, they have it. Like, literally every single Sublime series, like, I was just like, wow. They even had a new one called, like, Love Nest, I think is what it's called. I don't know if it's good. Let me know if you guys have picked it up and what it's about. Here's their GL section. Okay, what is this? This artwork looked stunning. I wanted to buy this, but I, once again, have no idea what it is, so is it good like what is this please let me know i don't know what this is but i want to read it if there's a series is this just an art book i don't know it is gorgeous though here's kind of their more shonen eye and uh less kind of i don't know mainly bl stuff and then here's their display near the front and i finally found apothecary diaries volume six y'all know i snagged that here is some more merchandise of course they have their jojo section always love how they're always stocked up on that jojo's because you guys know how much i love my jojo's bizarre adventure then here is their mxtx section sadly no merchandise for that show on the uh at the back of the store here they had this jojo's bizarre adventure end cap which is full of a whole bunch of different jojo's bizarre adventure manga and english and japanese and like all of the art books and i believe that was an acrylic plate that really caught my eye it was really beautiful here we have the Jinji Ito section and kind of this um, Berserk section and I was just, they just always have so much Berserk so it's always so cool to see uh, more representation for that type of manga. And then I came upstairs uh, because this is where more of the merchandise and figures are. So as you guys can see I'm walking through the anime and DVD section here. Um, they also have a whole bunch of Studio Ghibli stuff. Here they had this uh, Jolene Kujo. Uh, grandista prize figure and a whole bunch of these jojo's bizarre adventure super action statues which was so cool i saw this food wars uh book and a dr stone book which really caught my eye i would have gotten it sadly it was not an art book though it was just a kind of fan book and i didn't really think it was worth the money like the 20 dollars or something that it was so yeah this really caught my eye i thought the art was pretty neat i don't know what series it is from uh, the more I come in here, the more I realize how little I know about some series. Like, I think I've seen it all until I come to Kino Kuniya, then they always shock me. But they have these really gorgeous Bleach Orihime figures, some Tokyo and Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, manga, and these really gorgeous uh, Rei and Asuka figures. I was literally in love with them. Uh, over here we have kind of more of the prize figures and some Jujutsu Kaisen merchandise. Um, they, it's really nice that they're getting some more Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 0 or kind of 0 merchandise in. Then we have this Izuku Midoriya and a whole bunch of other uh, MHA figures. Then we had some Naruto prize figures. We also had uh, stuff from series like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, like they just had so much like blind bags and then here's like their magical girl section which is like card kept their Sakura and Sailor Moon and they just had like so many options and I absolutely loved it. Here's their Radio Eva section. Once again, absolutely love. Uh, I have one of the Ray acrylic stands and I am in love with her. I would have gotten them all. They are just so, so expensive. Here are Here is more of their Jujutsu Kaisen and other uh, merchandise that they have. As you guys can tell, literally there is just so much. I just, I, it's just so much. Then here is an aisle full of some figures. I don't know what series these are from. If you guys know, like, let me know. They are so beautiful, all of these figures. Then over here on the other side, we have a huge Attack on Titan section. I love Attack on Titan, and this is mainly where I get a lot of my AOT merchandise and just most of my merchandise in general. Here was this gorgeous Konosuba figure of Aqua in a kimono. I absolutely loved that figure. She was gorgeous. Um, and then we had like Rem in a kind of wedding kimono-esque thing, and it was just so gorgeous. I was just in love with everything here. They just have a really good variety and mix of scale figures and affordable like prize figures. So if you kind of are beginning your figure collecting um, or even if you're kind of more of a veteran figure collector, they always have something here for you in my opinion. Then don't even get me started on their art book selection. They had so many art books. You guys will see in just a minute how just the level of art books they had. It was literally insane. Here is their pop-up parade section. They had a whole bunch of like Inuyasha pop-up parades, which is so cool in my opinion. And this little set of minifigures particularly caught my eye. I love a good smile company, specifically the Shanghai branch. And I thought this was something from it. 
um, but I don't know what series it is from, so I did not end up getting it. It might be from a video game. I honestly don't know. Here is the art book section. Like, look how many art books there are. It is crazy how many art books there are. But I just, you know, there's also a lot of pop-up parades. And overall, I'm just absolutely in love with everything. Here are some banana fish art books. And I just, I am in awe every single time I go here. They always just have so much stuff it is always absolutely crazy this art book in particular caught my eye i just love the kind of bubble gum look to it it's just so cute uh i don't know how someone could not get this i really want to research more about the artist before i end up picking up the art book but yeah definitely i'm adding that to my to get list because it is just too amazing not to get here's more of their haikyuu blind bags and some more like vocaloid stuff they just have so much, so much stuff. And I cannot just like, I it's so like so overwhelming because they just have so much. Like here is their like back camp and Kaguya-sama area. Like so much stuff. I'm like, I don't even know how to describe how to convey this to you guys. After that, I just went home. Okay, everyone. So I just got back from shopping at Kinokuniya. So let's get into the haul. Starting off with the first volume I got, I got The Apothecary Diaries, Volume 6. I am absolutely loving this series. The artwork is amazing. The story is amazing. I love the female protagonist. Overall, like, if you need a good historical romance series, this is the one for you. And the last volume I got was Banana Fish, Volume 18. I am still so excited that I found this volume and cannot believe it. It has been out of stock everywhere, and I was just lucky enough to find a volume there. So with this in my collection, I only need, like, four more volumes, which is great. On another note, I got this package in my P.O. box from Jeremy. Thank you so much. My P.O. box address, I have linked in the description box of every video. So let's get this open. Okay, let's start with this letter. Thank you so much for the wonderful note, Jeremy. Oh my goodness, it is a couple volumes of Food Wars. Let's get this open. My cat is very intrigued. She loves bubble wrap. Oh, wow. Ah, okay, so it's volumes 8 and 30 of Food Wars. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for these two volumes of Food Wars. I am loving the first volume so far, so I'm so excited to continue with these volumes. Like, the art is amazing. I love a good cooking anime and manga, so so excited to add these to my collection. So here's everything I got in today's video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.